Assalamualaikum dear students hope you are doing well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to our NIEVS home school this is Marjie Islam assistant teacher of science national idol English version school morning shift now I am going to take a general science class for class 2 our today's topic is chapter 12 reading done plus exercise our lecture number 10 SW number 8 now start our class the chapter name is the need for water. I repeat the chapter name. The need for water. Water is a very important in our life. All living things including plants and animals need water to survive. Uses of water. We need water for all kinds of activity. We need water to live and so do all other animals. All other animals. We need water for the students look at the picture here one man is using water for bathing and one girl is carrying water for drinking and this woman is using water for washing. We also need water to cook our food and to keep our surrounding clean. Now the page long 87 our topic is sources of water we get water from many sources rain is the main source of water underline this line the water from rain is called rain water the rain water fills up ponds lakes rivers wells and seas some of the rain water seeps into the ground we dig well to get this water that seeps into the ground. We also use a hand pump to get this water. A hand pump, a hand pump is also called a tube well. Dear students, underline this line. A hand pump is also called a tube well. You see the picture here. This picture is well and this picture is hand pump. Our earth has lot of water in its seas and ocean. But we cannot drink this water because it is salty. The water of seas and ocean is salty. Underline this line. The water that we use for drinking is not salty. It is fresh water. The water in rivers, lakes and ponds is fresh water. Underline this line. We also find fresh water under the ground. Dear students, underline this line. We also find fresh water under the ground. You see the picture. This picture is sources of water. Here, this is well. Now, we can move the next page. Why should we drink clean water? We cannot drink any water that we find. We must only drink clean water. Underline this line. Drinking water should always be kept covered. Underline this line. Drinking unclean water can make us sick. Underline this line. Germs are present in dirty water. The students, underline this line. Germs are present in dirty water. Germs are tiny living things. We cannot see them with our eyes. But they can make us sick. We should always boil water well before drinking it. Underline this line. Boiling water kills the germ it. Dear students, underline this line. Boiling water kills the germs in it. Now our topic is water pollution. This is the figure of water pollution. Now when water becomes dirty, we say the water is polluted. Underline this line. We cannot use polluted water for our activities. Underline this line. Water pollution happens when different things like plastic bottles, rubbish, chemicals, etc. are thrown into the water bodies. Look at the picture. The water is being polluted in different ways. This is the polluted water pictures. Can you think of what can be done to keep water clean? Now, our topic is saving water. 
Water is very important and useful. We should not waste water. Here are some ways in which we can save water. Turn off the tap while brushing your teeth. Dear students, underline this line. Turn off the tap while brushing your teeth. Here is the picture. Turn off the tap while brushing. Now, fix all leaks. Underline this line. Collect rain water and use it for washing cars or watering plants. See the picture. Car washing use a bucket and a mug. Use a bucket and a mug to wash cars or water plants instead of a hose. Hose means a long water pipe. Take less showers. Now, points to be remembered. We need water for drinking, cooking, bathing, keeping our surrounding clean, etc. Underline this line. Rivers, lakes, ponds and underground water are sources of fresh water. Underline this line. The water of seas and ocean is salty. Dear students, underline this line. The water of seas and ocean is salty. Drinking dirty water makes us ill. We should not pollute water. We should not waste water. Now, objective that question, number, topic A, tick the correct answer. Number one, the main source of water is sea, pond, rain. Rain is the correct answer. That means the main source of water is rain. Number two, we can save water by bathing, closing taps, cooking. The answer is closing tap. Now we can say we can save our water by closing taps. Fish, animals, germs are present in dirty water. Answer is germs. Germs are present in dirty water. Number four, a hand pump is also called a well tube oil pump. The answer is tube oil. A hand pump is also called a tube oil. Rain water is salty, sweet, fresh. Now we can say rain water is fresh. This answer is fresh. Now B. This is true false. Number one, all living things need water. This is true. Number two, we do not need water for bathing. This is false. Number three, rain water is main source of water. This is true. Number four, we can save water by fixing all leaks. This is true. Number five, turn off taps while brushing. This is true. Now, C, matching, matching. This is column A. This is column B. Number one, plastic bottle matches. Plastic bottle matches polluted water. Number two, kept covered drinking water. Number three, C is salty water. Number four, dig wells underground water. Number five, germs dirty water. Number five, number six, sorry, number six, rivers. This is sweet water. Now, D. Fill in the blanks. Number one, boiling water is one way to kill germs in water. I repeat it. Boiling water is one way to kill germs in water. Number two, chemicals and rubbish pollute water. Chemicals and rubbish pollute water. Number three, we can save water by closing taps and fixing leaks. Number four, well and tube well help us to get underground water. Number five, drinking dirty water can make us sick. This is our homework. To page number 90, true false. Dear students, I hope you have understood today's topic. See you again in the next class. Till then, Allah Hafiz.